Hey everybody, this is Jason the Total Drama Fan, and I am now making and uploading the video that I promised a couple weeks ago, but I had to wait on until now. So this is going to be an overview on my complete collection of Disney titles on DVD and Blu-ray. And the reason why I'm doing an overview and not a video where I show you the front spine back and inside of the titles like I did for my Nickelodeon collection is because of the fact that Disney's titles could easily be divided into different categories. And I want to do separate videos for the titles that fit those categories. So yeah, that's the why I'm the that's the reason why I'm doing it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get things started. Now I want to make a quick little correction before I go any further into the video. So I never mentioned it in my Nickelodeon DVD and Blu-ray collection, but all my DVD releases for the Nicktoons were presented in the order in which each show premiered in, which was also the order I had them on my shelf. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the Disney titles. So first off, I have Celebrating Mickey, a new Blu-ray that came out for Mickey's 90th birthday this year. Oh, actually, it was last year. But, you know, it was last November, so close enough. Then I have one DVD for a live-action Disney movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And then I have my DVDs for the Pixar movies. So you have Toy Story Special Edition. This is a Blu-ray release, but for some weird reason, it's inside a standard DVD case. Then we have Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, and The Incredibles. So all three of these were distributed by Buena Vista Home Entertainment, the company that distributes most of Disney's titles on DVD and Blu-ray, but they don't have the Disney DVD logo anywhere on the packages, for whatever reason. And then we have my DVDs and Blu-rays for the animated canon. So we have the Jungle Book 40th Anniversary Edition, part of the Platinum Editions. Then we have Robin Hood from 1973, part of the Walt Disney Gold Classic Collection. This one is really cool to have in my collection because the it has the movie in its original full frame ratio, while on the Blu-ray that they released for the movie, they cropped it to widescreen. So this is really nice to have in my collection. Then we have Beauty and the Beast 25th Anniversary Signature Edition on Blu-ray, Aladdin Diamond Edition on Blu-ray, the Lion King Signature Edition on Blu-ray. Then we have Mulan and Mulan 2 in a two-movie collection. Then we have The Emperor's New Groove, the New Groove Edition. So the reason why this copy looks the way it does is because this is old library stock. So it has all the library stickers and stuff on it. But the disc inside... The disc inside is official it's just that it's from the library like it was old library stock that they discarded so that's the reason why the case is like this then we have atlantis lost empire tangled on blu-ray and then we have my dvds for the disney television animation shows so we have ducktales 1987 volumes one two and three don't have Volume 4 yet because it's a Disney Movie Club exclusive, and I don't want to join that thing where you have to buy three or four movies a month at higher than their retail cost in order to stay in the club. So I think that the Disney Movie Club is a big scam. So that's the reason why I don't have DuckTales Volume 4 yet. Though I will get it if they give it a retail release at some point, which I'm pretty sure they will since DuckTales got rebooted. I also don't have either of the two DVDs for the DuckTales reboot, Woo Woo or Expedition Adventure. But I do plan on getting those at some point because I do like the DuckTales reboot. Then we have the DuckTales movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. We have Darkwing Duck, Volume 1 and Volume 2. This is the original box set printing in which each disc has their own individual slim case. These DuckTales DVDs 
and the Darkwing Duck Volume 2 set were also originally released in this type of box set, but then they reissued them inside standard size DVD cases. I prefer the packages on these, so that's the reason why I have the standard cases. And then we have Quack Pack Volume 1. This show, well, not a really great show. I don't think it's bad like people say it is. So that's the reason why this one is in my collection. Then we have Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins, Kim Possible, The Secret Files, Phineas and Ferb, The Days of Summer, then we have Gravity Falls, Volume 1, Volume 2, and the Complete Series on Blu-ray. This is a really cool collection. It's from Shout Factory, and it has all kinds of cool special features on it. I'm really happy to have this set, and I really hope that Shout Factory... So, uh, who distributed this title instead of Buena Vista Home Entertainment, releases more titles of Disney show, like, blah, releases more Disney titles on DVD and Blu-ray soon. Especially for Phineas and Ferb, because that's my all-time favorite Disney television animation show, and Star vs. the Forces of Evil, which is my second favorite. Or they could release the entire series of those shows on Disney+. Plus. I know that they're doing that for Phineas and Ferb, but I don't know if they're going to do that for Star. So, Disney, please get on that soon. And then we have Tangled, the series Queen for a Day. A nice one to have in my collection, since the Tangled TV series isn't really that popular. So, it's really nice to have it on DVD, and this is another show that I really hope that either Shell Factory releases, or they release the entire show of on Disney+. Plus. Then we have my DVDs and Blu-rays for The Muppets and Jim Henson, because The Muppets are owned by Disney now, so that's the reason why they're in here with my Disney titles. So, not all of these are from Buena Vista Home Entertainment, only the ones that have the Disney logo on the spine, and this one too, but, I to, but they all have a general theme of the Muppets, and so that's the reason why they're here. So we have Sesame Street Old School Volume 1, 1969 through 1974, The Muppet Show Season 1 Special Edition, which is distributed by Buena Vista Home Entertainment, but instead of having the Disney DVD logo, it has the Buena Vista Home Entertainment logo, which looks suspiciously similar to the Disney DVD logo. The only difference is the lettering. So I have no idea why they released it like this. Then we have The Muppet Movie from 1979, The Grey Muppet Caper, The Muppets Take Manhattan, Muppets from Space, the Muppets from 2011 on Blu-ray. Muppets Most Wanted on Blu-ray. We have Fraggle Rock, Where It All Began, and Down in Fraggle Rock. And now we have my DVDs for 20th Century Fox, which just got acquired by the Walt Disney Company two months ago. So that's the reason why these titles are with my Disney ones as well. So we have The Simpsons, the complete first season, the complete second season, the complete third season, the complete fourth season, the complete fifth season, the complete sixth season, the complete twelfth season, the complete thirteenth season, the complete f and blah, and the complete fifteenth season. Then we have Family Guy Volume One, which has seasons one and two of that show on it. So yeah, that's everything. So if you guys want me to do a specific series of these because I'm definitely going to do one that features my Blu-rays and DVDs for the animated canon and Pixar's films. And for the Disney titles, because I forgot to mention it earlier in the video, the Pixar and animated canon movies are presented in the order in which each film was released in. And then for the Disney television animation shows, I have them organized in the order in which each show premiered in. So, just to clear that up. But the other ones aren't really in, in any particular order, though. So, yeah, if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely gonna do a video showing all the animated canon and Pixar movies together in full detail. 
And I probably will do a Disney television animation collection and a Simpsons DVD collection as well. So make sure to stay tuned for when those come out. Make sure to guarantee that you are able to check those videos as soon as they come out. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about each of my exciting new upcoming videos including the ones that I already mentioned are coming, as well as some other cool ones too. Until next time, I'm Jason the Total Drama Fan, and I am signing off.